Bailey, he's with Tim Sheridan. Laurie, congratulations on a great New South Wales win. All over the paddock, where was that founded? Just in the spirit or in the options you took? Oh, I think a bit of both, Tim. I think that um, we were prepared for this game very well. Um, and, and as was, was Queensland, but um, on the night, a few things went our way and um, uh, they kept fighting towards the end, but I'm sure they'll come back bigger and uh, better in the second game. Shortly after half time, your coach Gus Gould said that, well, you can get a lot better than that. There's so much out there, so much potential between all the great players either side of the field. Do you consider that to be the case? Yeah, well, at that stage, yeah, fours are going forward and um, twos are just having a field day. They're running off them and, uh, um, you know, we just wanted to make sure we got the yards in the fours before we spun it out wide. And, um, you know, it was, a, it was a great effort by everyone involved. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm certainly sure that uh, Queensland will come back bigger and better in the second one. Yeah, how do you think they'll change their outlook to the next one? I don't know what they'll do. I mean, they had plenty of spirit out there tonight and uh, a few things could have gone their way and it might have been a different ball game, but... Um, that's just the way Origin goes, you know. I mean, no one ever runs away with it, and they're always close games. And um, I'm sure the next one will be no different. Did you think the teams were too close together, that the 10 metres wasn't being enforced? Oh, mate, you know, I was just out there playing. I just enjoyed playing it. So uh, I'll let that up to whoever judges the referee's performance, work that one out. And uh, shortly to be a father. I guess you're as nervous about that as you are out there tonight. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we've already rang him home, and uh, Wendy's fine. And uh, just looking forward to... Uh, the next couple of weeks. Hopefully um, the baby will come out well. Let's hope everything goes okay. Thanks a lot, Laurie, and congratulations. Laurie Daly is a champion fellow, and uh, boy, if he had scored that uh, try, there might have been a bit of excitement down there in Canberra. He's a very <laughs> diplomatic fellow too, especially when it comes to referees. I think Brad Clyde is the best footballer in the world. I think Laurie Daly is a very close second with Clyde on the sidelines. I guess that makes him the number one at the moment. OK, well, uh, the coach of Queensland is Fatty Vorton. He's a disappointed man, obviously, and speaking with him is Andrew Voss. Well, Paul, appreciate your time. Uh, it's been a tough time, I guess, in the dressing room. We heard from Billy Moore out on the field. He said that he just didn't think Queensland played anywhere near as good as they could. What was the reaction of the remainder of his teammates? Well, they're all sitting in there with their heads down uh, like beaten favourites, and I think they're entitled. We played uh, very ordinary the whole game, really. We didn't control the football. We dropped it something like 15 or 16 times. We turned it over far too much possession to them. As a result, we had to make a lot of tackles. And, uh, look, it was just a bad night for us. After half-time, and plenty has been said about David Manson's 10, mm. after half-time you were a little critical and said that Alan Langer had approached David mm. on the field in the first half. What was your impression at the end of 80 minutes? Yeah, nothing changed really. And uh, coming down with Phil Gould in the lift after the game, actually we found each other in the lift and both commented about uh, Manson's 10. It was a bit ordinary as... It was the last time I saw him referee, but we don't want to be too critical of David Manson. He did the best job he could tonight. We'd be more criti critical of ourselves than the way we just dropped the ball far too much. Can you make a comparison so close to the finish of the match in trying to gauge how much is improvement in the two teams? Has Queensland got more improvement in them than New South Wales? You know about it. The positives that come out of the game for us is that we won the second half and um, we can only get better with our ball play. We, we need our backs to stand deeper. And you look at the tries that New South Wales did score, they scored two of their tries from, from kicks. Uh, lost some lucky bounces, that is rugby league, we, you know, you make your own luck and they had that much possession, the luck had to go their way. Uh, look, we're very disappointed, but uh, so we've got some positives come out of it. What about on a personal note, of course, 95, everything that you touched turned to gold in the Origin mm. Series, it was uh, a real highlight. How does it feel now after a defeat? Well, it's like as a player. Um, you know, I suffered a few defeats in the Queensland Jump as a player and there's not much fun, there's not much you can do. Uh, except uh, wait till another chance. That chance will come in two weeks and we hope to prove ourselves then. We'll see you there. Yeah, righto. Very gracious, uh, Fatty, and, uh, you know, I, you know, you got to say, well, he, he could, could have had a big whinge about the 10 minutes, but he didn't. He said, you know, we, we, we made the mistakes and we've got to improve. You know, he realised that it was his side that, that could beat out there today. It was no fault of the referees. One thing about Paul Vorton, he's got one of the best football brains of anyone I've ever met through the game. And I don't think enough people realise that. And I'm sure that he will get with his senior players and the younger players will be all the better for the run tonight. And they'll work out a game plan that they know will be able to extend this New South Wales side. Yeah, when, when Cody says things like, oh, I, I don't have a plan, it's just going to happen, you know he's as cunning as What about God. gracious? I've never heard the word gracious used around Paul. <laughs> well, he was tonight, you know, maybe one and only time. We'll, we'll, but uh, well done anyway, because uh, it's a tough call when you've got to come up and uh, explain what happened to the team and how it lost and so forth. Okay, we'll be back at Suncorp Stadium right after this.